just watch the biggest movies. Don't just hear the hottest music. Don't just see your favorite television shows. Come live them. At Universal Orlando Resort, home of two amazing theme parks, nonstop nightlife, and world-class on-site hotels. Jump right into the action of the movies at Universal Studios Florida. Feel the rush of adrenaline at Universal's Islands of Adventure. Enjoy the best in dining, dancing, and live entertainment at Universal City Walk. And stay right in the heart of it all at one of three magnificently themed hotels. Universal Orlando Resort, where high-speed thrills, innovative attractions, and the best in family entertainment create a vacation from the ordinary. For the first time on DVD, when a magical princess appears from the pages of a storybook, Where am I? it's up to Barney and his friends to use their imaginations and help her find her way home. Hi, Barney. Hi, everybody. <laughs> now you can journey into the land of make-believe. In the land of make-believe, you can meet almost anybody like me. Discover that no matter who you are or where you go, anything can happen as long as you use your imagination. Anything can happen, anything can be, anything can happen in the world. Bring home Barney's biggest adventure ever, filmed on location at Universal Orlando Resort, and you could meet a beautiful mermaid, Hello. dancing dolphins. And a marvelous magician. Sizzling salamanders. Barney's Land of Make Believe. You can be part of an adventure as big as your imagination on DVD and video. Every parent needs a helping hand. Barney helps give children the range of skills they need to grow. Sharing in good manners. Caring in emotional development. Imagining in creativity. Dancing in movement and learning educational concepts through music and play. Barney, a helping hand for growing children.
Tasha put the kettle on. Tasha put the kettle on. Tasha put the kettle on. We'll all drink tea. Those cookies look delicious. <laughs> Thank you, Barney. Would you like a big, sloppy, gloppy mud pie, Barney? Um, uh, not right now, thank you. Um, uh, perhaps I'll have a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Hey, look who's here. Hi, Barney. Hi, Hi everybody. What's going on? We're having a lovely tea party. Would you care to have a cookie? They're quite yummy. <laughs> well, we have lots of mud pies. Thanks. Uh, I think a cookie will be just fine. And they look quite tasty. Mm. Hmm. For some reason, you look different today, Sean. Can you guess why? Ooh, it's a guessing game. Oh, boy. Uh, oh. Is that a new sweater you're wearing? No. Did you get a haircut? No, it's not that either. <laughs> well, I know. Your socks don't match. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> Wearing his new glasses. That's it. I knew something was different. I really like your new glasses, Sean. They look great on you. Yeah, they sure do. Thanks. I like them, too. They help me see better now. Can you see my picture on the easel over in the art center? Uh-huh. I see a girl and a house and a tree and there's green grass and a blue sky and clouds. And the sun is shining, too. Yeah, let's take a closer look. Look, eh? Oh, that's a good Josh. I love to draw pictures. Oh, it's fun. I don't. I can't draw very well. Oh, that's all right, Sean. Just give it a try and have fun. Sure. It's fun to draw anything you want. Guess who this is? Is it you? Uh-huh. I like to draw pictures of me. Hey, why don't we all make pictures of ourselves? Let's see. Should I use paint or chalk or maybe markers? Oh, I do love to paint pictures, you know. I'm using yellow right now. I'm using peach and, and orange and green and all different kinds of colors. Yeah, that looks <laughs> cool. I like using all different kinds of colors, too. Here's my picture. You drew yourself playing your cello. I sure did. <laughs> That's good. Look at my picture. I used chalk. That's you drew a good. big smile on your face. That's very nice, Julie. Here's mine. Look, she put pink bows in her hair. I like that. <laughs> now look at my picture. You even remembered to draw your new glasses. Even the me in the picture can see better now. Yeah. <laughs> what does your picture look like, Barney? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Oh, boy. <laughs> Those look like spots. Uh, Barney, do you really think that looks like you? Oh, I think it looks just like me. Look. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's a picture of his back. Yeah. That sure is different, Barney. Yep, we're all different, and that makes everyone special. <laughs> you are special, you're the only one, you're the only one like you. There isn't another in the whole wide world who can do the things you do. Cause you are special, special, everyone is special. Everyone in his or her own way. Oh, you are special, special. Everyone is special. Everyone in his or her own way. <laughs> You're important, so you really are. You're the only one of you. The world is better just because you're here. You should know that.
I really like drawing pictures. I'd like to be an artist when I grow up. I have a friend who loved to draw pictures when he was a little boy. He wanted to grow up to be an artist, too. And you know what? What? He did grow up to be an artist. Would you like to meet him? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, come on. Oh, I'm boy. Hi there, Tommy. How you doing? Good, Barney. How are you? Oh, Good I'm to see you. Great. It's nice to see you again. This is my artist friend, Tommy DePaola. Tommy, I'd like you to meet my friends Tasha. Hi, Tasha. Julie. Hi, Julie. Sean. Hi, Sean. I like your glass. Thanks. And Michael. Hi, Michael. Hi. How nice are you? you? Nice to meet you, too. Paola? Yeah, call me Tommy, please. Okay. okay. Tommy, I think I want to be an artist when I grow up. Well, you know, Tasha, you can be anything you want to be when you grow up as long as you practice hard. When I was a little boy, I knew that I wanted to be an artist when I grew up, and now that I'm older, I write books and I draw the pictures for them. <laughs> as a matter of fact, I want to show you one of my new books called The Art Lesson. Mm. Now, this is a book that is autobiographical. That means it's about me, <laughs> and there I am right there. I was only four years old when I knew that I was going to be an artist when I grew up. Ooh. Yeah. And I had two twin cousins, and they were in art school. They were oh. studying to be real artists, like I've become now. And they told me two very important things. One was to practice, practice, <laughs> practice. Yeah. And the other thing is, even though it's hard work, it's also a lot of fun. And I think if it wasn't any fun, I wouldn't want to do it. Okay, I'm going to start working on this picture, and I'm going to show you the book. You can look at the book while I'm working on it. And if you have any questions, you can ask me as I go along here. All right. Where do you make your pictures? Oh, I have a big, big barn at my house that's called my studio, Sean. And it doesn't have any cows or ducks or oh. pigs or anything in it anymore. And I have a special desk that I sit at, uh -huh. and, um, and I do all my artwork there. I'm going to draw my knobby knees here. <laughs> and, you know, I, I saw that Julie had these great knee socks. And I think I'm going to put me with knee socks. On. How's that? And then I'll draw my shoes. Big, lumpy shoes. I like making big, lumpy pictures here. I'll put a blue stripe here, blue stripe here. Tommy, and, yeah. when you were a little boy, did you like to draw the same things you do now? The same things I draw now? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I like to draw birds and animals and people, fairy tale princesses. Ooh. A lot of stripes on this shirt, boy. <laughs> here we go. And we need one more color. Barney, you pick this color. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. Um, how about yellow? Great. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Great. Yellow, 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 <laughs> yellow, yellow. Okay, I think I'm going to put brown hair. Oh, oh yeah. Because my hair used to be brown when I was a little boy. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I think I'll make my pants brown. Mm -hmm. And I want to put some nice bright stripes on my socks. That's one of the nice things about drawing and being an artist because you can make things look any way you want, That's right? That's right. All right, now I've got to do my face. So I start with my eyes. I'm going to choose these just two little dots. Mm -hmm. All right? I'm going to put one dot here. Mm -hmm. One dot there, and my little blobby nose. <laughs> and because I am so happy to be here with you, Barney, and all your friends, I'm going to make a nice, great, big smile. Oh, oh great. great. <laughs> That's it. Oh, oh, great. Great. <laughs> Good. Do you have a favorite color? Yeah. White. Why? What? Yeah, because I can paint on it. Oh. <laughs> What's your favorite color, Barney? Oh, well, let's see. I like red and orange and yellow and green and blue and purple. All kinds of colors. <laughs> oh, I like red. It's the color of an apple. Orange. It's the color of an orange. Yellow. It's a lemon and our wonderful sun, sun, sun. Green, it's the color of the trees and lots of things that grow. And then there's blue for the sky. And purple, that's a color that's fun, fun, fun. And, and when we put those colors side by side, now what do you think we've done? We made a rainbow, and it's a really beautiful one. One, one, oh, I like red. It's 
the color of an apple. Orange. It's the color of an orange. Yellow. It's a lemon and a wonderful sun, sun, sun. Green. It's the color of the trees and lots of things that grow. And then there's blue for the sky and purple, that's a color that's fun. It's a beautiful one. Teacher, one more picture, Tommy. Oh, please. 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 Well, okay. I'll tell you what. I'll draw you three more pictures if you'll sing me one more song. Oh, okay. Okay? And to make it more fun, let's see who can finish first. Oh, all right. Okay. But what song should we sing? Do your ears... Hang low. Oh, we know that one. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? Okay, let's see what he did. Oh, 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 we have to hurry. Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them on your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? Oh, we bit me one that time. Oh no! We really have to go fast this time! Barney, I'm going to have to leave in a few minutes. Oh, okay. But before I do, there's one more thing I've got to do. Oh, what's that? What that? Well, I've got to put a picture on the pad on the easel. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, boy. Now, I like to draw animals. Uh -huh. And I think what I'm going to do is draw an animal, and you try to guess what it is, while I'm drawing. Oh, good. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Guess okay. Oh, boy. All right. Here I go. It's going to have two pointed ears and two little dots for an eye, a Y for the nose, and a curved line for the mouth. And then some whiskers. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and a nice round face and little squiggles for its ears. And then little feet and a little round body and a great big huge furry tail. tail. There. <laughs> oh, it's a Cat, that's right. <laughs> He's such a cute little cat. Now, one more important thing. Mm -hmm. You know what artists have to do when they finish pictures? What's that? They have to sign their names. Oh, that's and right. I always sign my name with a little heart. So I'm going to use the red marker and put a little heart. And then I'm going to write my name. I'm going to put the T around the heart. So it's T O M I E. Tommy. Oh. And there we are! Oh, it's oh, it's it was so good to be here with you. Oh, Thank you so much. Thank and you. I hope I see you again, okay? Oh, okay. Great. All right. Take care. Yeah. All right. That was fun. Bye-bye, Barney. I wish I could draw pictures for a book like Mr. DePaula does. Oh, that would be fun. Hey, let's make our own book. We can each make a picture for it. That's a good idea, Michael. Do you mean we can do any picture we want? <laughs> any way we want? Sure. Will that make a book? Oh, you'll see. It'll be a super deep duper book. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. oh, boy. I can't wait to see your artwork. <laughs>
he's finally ready. <laughs> but Barney, we all drew pictures of different things. How can we make a story out of that? We can if we use our imagination, Sean. I think our story will be funny and silly. <laughs> Just listen. <clears throat> our silly book with words by Barney and illustrations by Tasha, Julie, Sean, and Michael. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was an elephant, uh, a baby elephant named Andrew. Even though he was a baby, Andrew was big and had a very long trunk. Every day, Andrew played with his friend, Edward the monkey. Edward loved to eat bananas. <laughs> he would peel them slowly. And then gobble them up as quickly as you can say banana. Sometimes Edward wasn't careful where he threw his banana peels. And Andrew would slip on them. One day, Andrew came upon some beautiful flowers. They were red and blue and yellow and orange and purple. Lots of pretty colors. <laughs> Andrew decided to pick the flowers and carry them home to his mother, holding them in his trunk. What happened then, Barney? On the way home, a beautiful butterfly saw the flowers that Andrew was carrying home to his mother. The butterfly wanted to smell the flowers, so she landed right on Andrew's trunk. But her wings tickled his nose, and that made him sneeze. Uh, 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 <laughs> Suddenly, Andrew was sad. He'd sneezed so hard, all the flowers he was holding in his trunk were blown away into the sky. Aw, what happened then? Well, Andrew went home and told his mother what had happened. She just smiled and pointed up to the sky. What did they see? Up above them was a beautiful rainbow. It had all the colors of the flowers that Andrew had blown into the sky when he sneezed. <laughs> His mother loved that rainbow. So, every time you see a rainbow, you'll know that somewhere, a baby elephant was carrying flowers home to his mother and accidentally sneezed them all into the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I liked our silly book. It's fun to be silly, isn't it, Barney? <laughs> it sure is, Julie. Why, we can be silly from our heads right down to our toes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Would you like me to show you how to make some silly teeny tiny toes? Mm -hmm. How teeny tiny? Really itsy bitsy small. <laughs> I'll make baby footprints. Oh, baby, baby footprints? footprints. Oh, what are those? Oh, I see. Oh, 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 <laughs> That's good. See, baby footprints are easy to make. When my mom has our new baby, that's the kind of itsy bitsy footprints the baby will make. Oh, you all worked very hard to make this book today. Uh huh. But we haven't written the title on the front. Ooh. Every book needs a name. We need a special picture on the cover too. Barney, would you do one for us? Why, thank you, Michael. I'd love to. <laughs> and because you're each so special, why don't we put you on the cover? Oh, that sounds <laughs> good. Thanks, Barney. Yeah. There are lots of special people in the world looking different as can be. And there's one I know so very, very well. And a special person is me. No one else is just like I am. No one else is just like me. I was born very special and I'm special now. And it's nice just to be me. You see, my eyes, nose, and hair are special just because they're mine. My tummy and chin, and even my skin, make me special all of the time. <laughs> 
No one else is just like I am. No one else is just like me. I was born very special and I'm special now. And it's nice just to be me. You see, my eyes, nose, and hair are special. Just because they're mine. My tummy and chin and even my skin make me special all of the time. No one else is just like I am. No one else is just like me. I was born very special and I'm special now. And it's nice just to be me. I was born very special and I'm special now. And it's nice just to be me. Are you finished yet? Okay. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the cover picture for our book is complete. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, it looks just oh, like us. Yes. The title is Our Silly Book. <laughs> It's the most special picture I could paint because it's a picture of my special friends. Oh, thanks, Barney. <laughs> I love you. You love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? Is everyone ready to play? Then let the games begin. The sky is blue way up above. Whoa, whoa, here he comes. Whoa. <laughs> roll, roll, roll the ball. Try to hit the pins. We're gonna have fun. It's a beautiful sunny day. Let's jump and sing. We can do anything. It's a fun, fun sunny day. <laughs> Get ready, get set, get moving with Barney in Ready, Set, Play. Now available from Hit Entertainment. Barney's got your ticket to adventure in Barney's Colorful World Live. Oh, hi, everybody. Imagine a trip around the world. All aboard for the Arctic! When the ground is covered with fluffy white snow, that's how I know it's cold. Ahoy, mateys! Set sail for sandy beaches. Oh, yeah! This place is nice and warm! 
Dive into the colorful world under the sea. Meet a starfish who's really a star. You'll have a whale of a time. See Barney's Colorful World Live, a magical musical adventure from your friends at HIT Entertainment. Don't move, JJ. Don't move. I'll be right over. What's the matter, Bob? JJ needs help. And so does Mr. Bentley. Come on, team. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. And sometimes Bob and Spud need help. Well, what's happening? Help! Get me down! Ah, help! Help! But everyone knows the fun is in getting it done. Help is on the way with Bob the Builder. Now available on DVD and VHS from Hit Entertainment. I absolutely love to dance. There's something magical about getting ready for a big performance. The stage is set for dancing and excitement in the Magic of Dance video. You won't believe what happens when Miss Lily comes to dinner. And it's even more fun when William practices his new magic trick on me. Tails and whiskers. Oh, gosh, she's really disappeared. And you'll see the time I borrowed my mother's necklace and lost it. Angelina, your mum did say you could borrow her locket, didn't she? Well, uh, not exactly. Be sure to watch the silver locket video to find out what happened. In the big performance video, you won't believe who I danced for. Queen Serafina of Mouseland. Angelina is a real star. So don't miss my big performances on video. And remember, if you follow your dreams, you could be a star too. Gather your best buddies. Warm up those dancing feet and... Get ready! Get ready! Get ready! Get ready! Get ready for the Wiggles! You love their hit TV show. Now you can bring home four all-time favorite episodes on one DVD. Lights, camera, action. To watch any time you want. What do you think of that? <laughs> Dance and sing along with the Wiggles and all their friends. Wags the dog, Henry the octopus, Dorothy the dinosaur, and the unsinkable Captain Feathersword. Here we go. Can you point your fingers and do the twist? Everybody's twisting, Greg. It's chock full of wild, wacky, wiggly fun for everyone. <laughs> well, blow me down. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blow your chance to own Lights, Camera, Action on DVD or VHS from your pals at HIT Entertainment. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the island of Sodor. Join in the celebration of 60 years of Thomas and Friends. Thomas and his very useful crew invite you to sing along with eight great sing-along songs. Plus, take to the tracks with Thomas in two new enchanting adventures never before on home video. Good work, Thomas! Add songs from the station and other Thomas stories to your collection today. Available now on home video and feature packed DVD from Hit Entertainment. Swim in! It's high noon in the bathroom. If only I could make up the rules. Aldi, Sheriff, Terrence. Sheriff, Sheriff, you've got to help us. Finny the Kid is coming to town. Can Sheriff Terrence save the day? Find out by watching the Rubber Dubbers in High Noon in the Bathroom. Plus more swimming stories from your friends at Hit Entertainment. Strike a zebra ready pose. And listen up with your cow monkey ears. What does all that mean? It means it's time to shake a leg and jam together with the wildest dance party around. Jim Henson's Animal Jam. March with Edie. Freeze with Waffle. And join a dance band with DJs one, two, three. And no one jams or shakes a leg like Bozart, the Animal Jam superstar. He's having a ball. So hop up and climb on board with Jim Henson's Animal Jam. Now available on DVD and VHS from Hit Entertainment. 
And don't miss Animal Jam every weekday morning on the Discovery Kids channel. Kipper is on the march toward adventure in his new video, Puppy Love. It's magical. Bum, bum, ba, bum. Musical. Boom, body, boom. <laughs> Mischievous. <laughs> now, stop it. <laughs> Mysterious. Oh, what is it? What is it? <laughs> and always merry. If I blow up lots of balloons, it makes me go all giggly. <laughs> Look for Kipper and Company in Puppy yeah. Love. Now available from Hit Entertainment. Introducing a very special girl. And now presenting Frances. And a very special world of fun. Now, who's ready to play? <laughs> and right in the middle of it all. Is Francis. Just to warn you, I'm a big girl with sharp claws. Hit Entertainment and the Jim Henson Company bring this beloved classic storybook character to life. I bet you're looking for Francis. She's not here. I am Francina, the princess of everything on Earth, including the universe. Each episode has three delightful stories, all about taking on the challenges of childhood. I wish I didn't have a sister. Then we would be going to Lizardland today. And if there's anyone ready to take on that challenge, it's Francis. You can do the writing, and I'll do the thinking. You're very good at thinking. With a song and a dance, she'll find a solution to any problem. I, Francis, have a good idea. And it just wouldn't be Francis without her mom. You did a very nice thing. The right thing. Her dad. We're going to have a great time. Her little sister, Gloria. Stop, Gloria! And her best friend, Albert. I love the name Francis. After all, Francis is the name of my best friend. Ready or not, she's on her way. That sounds like a plan. Get in touch with your inner Francis. As Francis, the star of Russell Hoban's cherished children's books, comes to DVD and VHS, spring of 2006. Hooray, Hooray for Francis! Francis. That's